Hello ladies, it is Tiffany of Clarity, Confidence, Courage, Women's Empowerment, and I am here today to talk about a subject matter that I have found a lot of my one-on-one -on -one coaching clients bring up to me, as well as women in my private Facebook group, and that is how to recognize that you are dealing with a narcissist, whether it's in a romantic relationship, a friendship, or a family member, and how to deal with getting rid of them. Now, before we jump into this very important topic, please give me that thumbs up to like the video, share this video with other women who you know might be interested in this topic and subscribe to the channel. This helps boost me up in the algorithm so that other women just like you can find my videos and help them create lives that they absolutely love. All right, let's go. Now, first let's discuss what narcissism actually is. Narcissism is a personality disorder. It is actually a psychological personality disorder in which a person believes that they are more grandiose than they really are. They have a projected self image. A lot of times narcissistic personalities need a lot of attention. They need a lot of admiration. They need constantly to be validated and told they're amazing, they're great, whatever it is. They basically need someone to just worship their every step. And narcissist personality disorder tends to involve people who a lot of times attract other people who are not narcissists. A lot of times they are involved in a codependent relationship with a person that they know they can easily manipulate. So here are some really direct ways that you can see if you are dealing with a narcissist. Narcissists tend to interrupt you in conversations. Have you ever talked to someone and you're like, hey, how's it going? And they just keep talking and keep talking and keep talking. And before you can even get in a word, they're like, okay, I'll talk to you later, bye. It's like they have no concept of conversation within, which involves two people actually having a conversation because all the focus is on them and their minds they believe that what they have to say is the most important thing and you are the audience. You are there to just listen. So a lot of times, not all the time, but you will notice as part of the narcissistic personality traits, a person will constantly either interrupt your conversation or won't let you get in a word edgewise. Another personality trait of a narcissist, they often believe that it's okay to violate your boundaries. Now, when I say violate your boundaries, I mean doing things like asking you to get things done at the last minute, doing things like knowing that you have other, you know, situations going on and yet telling you, you know, they really need you or they really need something, calling you at all hours of the night when you clearly have made it known that you go to bed at a certain time. So, narcissistic personalities do not have any problem violating your boundaries. However, if you try to violate their boundaries, they are going to let you know up front. And here's the thing about narcissistic personalities. When you confront them on violation of boundaries, they will get very upset, almost throw a temper tantrum because they're in their minds, they believe that they are entitled to your time. They believe that they are entitled to your energy. This is how you know you are dealing with a narcissistic person or personality. Narcissistic personality types a lot of times have very charming personalities. They come off very social, very outgoing, and a lot of times they will ask you a lot of questions. It's almost like they're investigating you. They want to know tons and tons of things about you, right? Now, I'm not talking about in a normal relationship where you ask a person, oh, what are your favorite color? What do you like to eat? I'm talking about deep, constant questions. So what are you doing with your life? What are your goals? Where are you going in the next five years? They're constantly going, 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 digging and drilling into you as if you're, they're interrogating you. That's how you know you're dealing with a narcissistic personality. And here's the thing. There is an agenda behind the questions. When people are asking you constant, like, like they just want to know every single thing that's going on in your life and it feels like you're being interrogated, they're trying to get a feel for you. They're trying to understand who you are so that they can use it to manipulate you. Narcissistic personalities are definitely, definitely manipulative personalities. They use their charm. They use that outgoing social behavior in order to persuade you, to see if they can get you to do what it is that they want. 
And in the beginning, it seems like they're super nice, they're super outgoing, they're super friendly, but it won't be long before you start to interact with them more and more that their true colors will start to show. And you will see that that charm slowly starts to wear off and there's a little monster behind there saying, give me, give me, give me, I want, I want, I want. And narcissistic personalities, when they don't get what they want, they throw a tantrum, they get upset, they act out in a negative way. The other thing about the manipulative behavior of a narcissistic personality, once they use you and they get what they want from you, then they're done with you. If they feel like there's no other way, they can't squeeze any more out of you, they're done. You won't hear from them, they'll stop talking to you, they will disappear. This is another trait of a narcissistic personality. Narcissists also many times believe there is only one right way, and that right way is their way. A lot of times, narcissists do not like to hear any alternative options. They believe that what they think is right is the right way, and what you think or what anybody else is th thinks is the right way is just wrong. Narcissists have tunnel vision, and that tunnel vision is all about themselves. It's all about what they believe, what they think, what they think is right, focused on them, focused on their values. Narcissists do not like to have an open mind to other viewpoints when it comes to various opinions. Narcissists are extremely judgmental and critical. And a lot of times they inadvertently compare themselves to others. So, for example, if a woman walks in a room and a narcissist, another woman, sees her and she's a narcissist, she may say, oh my gosh, I can't believe she wore a red dress. Do you see that red dress? It looks horrible on her. I don't even know why she wore that. I mean, I could wear a red dress, but, you know, everybody isn't meant for red. I mean, and she's one of those women. If you've ever met someone like that where you're like, wow, you're being pretty critical of that woman who looks pretty great in that red dress. I don't see what the problem is. Then you might be dealing with a narcissist personality. A lot of times underneath all of that comparison and that criticism and that judgment of others is a lot of insecurity. Narcissists are deeply, deeply insecure and therefore they feel the need to constantly judge and criticize others. And in the beginning, if you're dealing with a narcissist, like I said, they have a charming personality, so it's not going to come off in the beginning. A lot of times it slowly starts to make its way out in little hidden comments. Like, oh, you're going to you're gonna wear those shoes? I mean, they're okay. I mean, if that's the type of look you want, that slutty look, you know, that's fine. It's those type of comments that a narcissist will say. Or, oh, you're going to wear, go to that party? Uh, okay, I just, I thought we were doing something this weekend. But I mean, if you don't care about me and how I feel, then I guess you're just going to go with them. Narcissists will flip things around to make you feel like you've done something wrong and then make them feel seem as if they are the victims. Again, these are little tricks that narcissists use to manipulate you into believing that they should have your attention and your focus only. And lastly, narcissists do not mind breaking the rules when it comes to themselves. The interesting thing is a narcissist can be the type of person who really on the outside talks about how much they believe in rules and how they believe in values and how they just follow a straight line. However, when it comes to themselves, they always seem to find a way where they're allowed to break the rules, but you're not. They're allowed to kind of tip over the line, but if anybody else does it, they're wrong. You see, narcissists will even manipulate the rules or the policy or whatever it is to make it in their favor. Because again, in their minds, the focus and the attention should be on them and they should be able to get away with whatever they want to. Many times you'll see narcissistic personalities in con artists, people who use people and manipulate systems in order to get what they want. It's so unfortunate that I have clients that I have worked with and coached. I have women in my Facebook group that have told me like, Tiffany, I think I'm dealing with a narcissist. You know, I don't know what to do. I don't even know why I keep attracting these types of people. And trust me, I get it. For many years, I attracted narcissists into my life, whether they were in relationships or friendships. 
And let me tell you, it took me a long time to understand why I was attracting narcissists and how to deal with them. A lot of times when I tell my client, being the type of person that attracts a narcissist, a lot of times is a very empathetic person, a person who is a natural born giver. And when a narcissist senses that about you, they immediately are drawn to you because they know that you will probably be the type of person that can be easily manipulated. The other issue with a giver, with a person who has a lot of empathy for others, is that nine times out of 10, you may have grown up in a household where you had a parent that was a narcissist or you had a sibling that was a narcissist. So you are accustomed to that codependent behavior. If you grew up in a household where a parent was an alcoholic or they were a drug addict or they were physically abusing the other parent, then a lot of times you saw that that dynamic of the narcissist personality getting exactly what they want, all the attention being focused on them, and the other parent was the enabler. The other parent was the empathizer. The other parent was nine times out of 10 being mentally or psychologically abused by the narcissist. So you in your mind begin to think that that is a normal behavior. And when you become an adult and you see it, clearly see it, it's not unusual for you because that's the type of household that you grew up in. Or if you had a sibling that was a narcissist and you had a parent that never really made boundaries clear, that never really enforced respect and decency and integrity from that child to their other siblings, then yes, you're going to grow up and probably attract narcissists to you because in your mind, well, this is normal. Having that person that constantly needs the attention, that constantly needs the focus, that constantly need, needs you know adoration and to be told how amazing and wonderful they are, you think that that's normal. So of course, you're attracted into your relationships. Now, what I tell women is, look, just because you grew up in a household like that or you know whatever the situation may be does not mean that you have to live your life dealing with narcissists. There are ways to deal with a narcissist. The first way to deal with a narcissist is you have to cut them out of your life. Yes, you have to shut them down. Now, I know some of you may say, well, Tiffany, my sibling is a narcissist or my parent is a narcissist or you know whoever, my coworker is a narcissist. How do I cut them out of my life? Well, in those situations, you have to set very firm, clear boundaries and you may have to distance yourself. So not necessarily cut them completely out, but set those firm boundaries and stick to them and be very, very upfront with your boundaries. When it comes to narcissists, there are no soft ways you can deal with them. You have to be rigid. You have to be slightly aggressive and direct because you have to let them know in a firm and direct manner, these are my boundaries. You will not cross them. If you do, there will be consequences. And that's how you have to deal with the narcissist if you're going to continue to engage with them. The other thing that I tell women is if you're in a romantic relationship with a narcissist, then you either need to go to couples therapy and be, and they need to be willing to be upfront about their behavior. But nine times out of 10, a narcissist will never be upfront about their behavior. They will never give in to admitting that they are wrong. Because again, part of the disorder of a narcissist personality is that they don't think they've done anything wrong. So the likelihood of them going to therapy to help themselves get better is very, very low. The other thing that I tell women that they can do if they decide to cut a narcissist out of their life or to just make firm boundaries with the narcissists that are in their families, they have to start working on themselves. They have to be willing to build up their own confidence, their own self-esteem, and their own value and worth system. They need to start understanding that they are worthy to prioritize themselves. Because when you prioritize yourself and you put yourself first and you have the confidence to say, I matter, I am of value, I am worthy, and I am not going to allow anyone in my life to take advantage of me, when you have that type of confidence, you no longer attract narcissists. They no longer see you as a target. They no longer see you as a type of person that can be easily manipulated or bullied into doing what they want you to do or getting what they want out of you. So ladies, I hope this helps. This video was created for all the women who have ever talked to me about narcissism, came to me and said they were victims of a narcissist. They grew up with a narcissist parent or a narcissist sibling, and they seem to have to deal with narcissists in their lives. 
this video is for that tolerate if you now ladies if you know that part of the issue is you not having the confidence and the self-esteem that you need to really stop attracting a narcissist then definitely check out my online course the five keys to magnetizing confidence in this course i help you understand how to create confidence on five different levels check out the link in the description to get more information about the course that is on my website all right, ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, make sure to share, subscribe, and like. And hey, leave me a comment and let me know if you have ever dealt with a narcissist in your life, whether it's a friend, a relationship, or in a family. All right, ladies, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.